It slices, it dices, it's portable, flexible, practical, elegant, life-saving, and it's all yours if you order right now. This is one of the most useful, essential tools I can give you. Use what you have. A little underwhelmed? I know. It's so simple, it's easy to underestimate. Use what you have. What does that mean? How does that work? Well, the first step is, to use what you have, you have to know what you have. So, make it a part of your process to stop and look at what you've got. Because once you've made any choice, you can use that to make the next one. For example, suppose all you've got is a hook, a premise. An identity thief and their victim fall in love. That's a good idea, but you need about a hundred pages more detail before you got a script. So look at what you've got. In this one sentence, you've already made four choices. You've got two people and two actions. So you've already got four things to work with. Let's look at just one of them. Identity thief. What do you have from that? Well, a thief takes stuff from other people. What does that tell us about this character? Are they desperate? Are they damaged? Do they like to make their own rules? Do they have a good reason or a noble plan? Are they okay with harming others? Or do they not realize that they're doing it? That's just a few of the possibilities, and any of them could work because any of them raise a ton of new questions for you to work on. But let's go back for a second, because we're not even done with the original one thing we started with. This character isn't just a thief, they're an identity thief. Which means they're smart, and their work is done online. And that is something new to use. These two characters probably don't live in the same place. And that means we have one of them is going to have to go to the other. This is huge. It's a major story point. So, which one does it and why do they do it? There's a lot to explore there. But wait, still, use what you have. If they live in two different places, it means we have two more things to work with. The places they are from. Okay, let's just stop here and look at all the material we've been able to develop out of one quarter of the single sentence that was all we had. Once you've made any choice, you can use that to make the next one and the next hundred that come after it. Obviously, use what you have is a great tool to brainstorm. But what if your brain got no storms? It's clear weather all over your brain. You cannot think of anything. Well, there is another part to use what you have. You always have something. That is the enormous life-saving gift that I'm giving you here, so I'm going to repeat it. You always have something. Most of I can't think of anything is really I don't like what I have, I don't trust it, I don't think it's good enough. That's when you really need use what you have. Because use what you have doesn't just mean use what you have, it also means Use what you have, even if you don't like it or don't trust it or don't think it's good enough. Use it anyway. Worst case scenario, what if it really is bad? Well, you can't make it better if you're paralyzed and self-hating and not doing anything. Use what you have. Throw down the bad version. Discover that you don't actually die from not being good enough, whatever the hell that is. If what you have is this bad thing, Use what you have. Work on that. Get mechanical. Get specific. What exactly is bad about it? Is it too fast? Is it too long? Is it cliché? Is it vague? Use that. Work on making it a little bit the opposite of what's bad. You don't have to make it good. It's nice, but it's not required. Just make it distinctly not as bad. Trust yourself. Start from where you are. Work with what you've got. Use what you have. It's so simple, it's easy to underestimate it. So the main thing you need to do is just remember it. 
you always have something. And once you've made any choice, you can use that to make the next one. Use what you have. Okay, that's enough for now. Go write something. If you like this video, like this video and subscribe to the channel. Tell me what you think. Ask me questions. Ask me anything. I will answer. And if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, have me read your script and give you notes, go to writingforscreens.com. And so, until we meet again, I say unto you, bye. So, so that all seems very... So... Okay. Okay, then what you have is a situation where... Then... Okay.